A Bridgeport man is looking for medical help for his brother who was left comatose after he was hit by a car in Antigua. New South Connecticut, Sean McCabe has more on that story and what you can do to help. He was just training in the morning, just trying to train for that next competition he had going. Michael Simon of Bridgeport says his brother, Andre, was struck by a car May 8th while training with fellow members of Antigua's national cycling team. He has won lots of medals, traveled to Cuba. He's even had his picture on um, the front of our telephone books. Andre Simon recently moved back to Antigua after completing his degree in New York. His brother says Simon was thrown into the air by the crash. No broken bones, but because his head hit the back of the car, um, the, 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 the top of the hood um, gave him that brain traumatic injury. The cyclist suffered three seizures on the way to the hospital <laughs> and had to be revived after six minutes of cardiac arrest. After three weeks in the ICU, Andre is stable but still in a vegetative state. He's not just like just unresponsive. He has like flickering of the eyes. Uh, he's sensitive to touch, so he is fighting. Michael Simon says Andre can't get the care he needs in Antigua. He says his brother hasn't had an MRI yet because the hospital hasn't had a working machine. I'm even hoping today I heard news of that their machine is gonna get um, fixed. The part finally got to Antigua and they're working on it. Getting the care he needs means transporting Simon to an American hospital at a standard cost. Just from the airlift alone, they're asking for $56,000 US. A GoFundMe page started by the family has raised 35,000 so far. Simon says his brother has fought hard to survive, but he needs help to come the rest of the way. To get into that state where he can talk to his son again because he is a father. Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut. And we do have a link to that GoFundMe page on our website, news12.com.